today I'm making two different kinds of macrame plant hangers. Some assembly required. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to make two different kinds of macrame plant hangers. While you're watching, if you're having a good time, don't forget to subscribe because we enjoy making you some fun videos that you can watch. So I knew that I wanted to make some macrame plant hangers. I have a space over there which doesn't have anything and it's just a little bit sad. So what I wanted to do was hang some planters there. These are going to be fake plants because it's you can't tell, but it's dark down here. I have my floodlights, so it looks like the surface of the sun, but in reality, it is not. I already have the little pots and the little plants, uh, which are cute, but they're not doing anything right now because they need to hang. So I knew that I wanted to make plant hangers, so I was researching on Google. Thank you, Google. And I saw so many ideas. There were so many. It was really hard to choose. Uh, so I picked one sort of traditional macrame looking one and one that was, I mean, it's just wrap knots. But I thought that it looked really cool. We'll see if it does. In real life. But I'm going to start with that one. Then I'm going to do the one with the more you know, more knots and spirals and whatever. That looks looks more like what you would think macrame would look like. And if you are interested, I will put a little how to make the knots thing at the end of the video. So if you're not interested, you don't have to worry about it. So without any further babbling, I am going to start my first plant hanger. We are going to start with the more simple plant hanger. I don't think I had seen this before, so of course I was very excited. I like to do things that I haven't seen a million times before. While you're watching this, if you've seen any kind of crazy macrame that you think that I should try, leave me a comment because I'm always interested in trying something wacky. It's kind of what I do. So for this first one, it looked in the picture that I saw, like it had maybe 10 different strands hanging down. So I cut out five and I'm gonna fold them in half. So these are the three millimeter macrame that I got at the Michaels the other day. It's a little bit thick, but it should work fine for this. So I cut out five pieces. They are eight feet long, eight feet each. So I line them up on one side because they should be about the same length. So here's the little ring. I'm gonna thread them through and see if I can get them about halfway. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that last one is doing, but I think that's close enough. So I am going to make a little wrap knot at the top using embroidery floss. Well, this is thicker than embroidery. But it's basically the same. So a thin string type of a thing. You could use yarn. You could use colored macrame cord, I guess, if you have that. I don't have that. That would be cool. So I have some of this guy and a few other colors. And I thought that would be neat. So I'm gonna try to do a little wrap knot at the top and I'll be back. That's cool. I feel like I have discovered a secret. Uh, I feel like I can use this in a lot of exciting ways. I mean, I've definitely seen necklaces that are made like this. I tried to make them actually with a class once, but we couldn't figure out how to tie them on so they weren't just threads everywhere. This is how the wrap knot is a miracle. Now, I think I'll do a little stripe of the orange under this because I think, you know. Color. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Sorry. I have a cold. I'm not dying. I don't think. Not today. So I think the orange is nice up here and I'm gonna put the pink at the bottom. That's my plan. We'll see if that was a good idea or not. But first we'll do the orange. And I feel so clever, but also like maybe I'm not that clever and I should have figured this out a long time ago, but I'm gonna go with clever because it makes me feel better. Okay, okay. Okay. So far, this is really cool. The color is not as bright for you as it is in real life. That's okay. You guys never get to see things quite the way that I see them. Maybe better. So that will be the top. And then for the whole entire rest of it, until we get uh, down, 
I don't know. I have to figure out how long I want it. It's just going to be plain. It's going to be no, no stitches, no, no nothing. And then there's going to be another wrap knot at the end. So let me see how low I want this guy to hang. And then we'll make another cool, colorful wrap knot at the bottom and see how this thing turns out. I mean, this is, this is straightforward. I do like a straightforward craft. It's so much easier for me. <laughs> there's less things to go wrong. And I do appreciate that. So I feel like it's kind of important to arrange the strands, the cords, I guess, so that the whole entire thing is not a tangled mess. Maybe just a little bit of a tangled mess. So I think that this will save me some irritation later. I make them not be tangled. Then, you know, it'll sort of wrap around the pot. Technically they're like bathroom cups for toothbrushes. So I don't know what to call them for real. I decided that my knot should be about 28 inches from the bottom of the ring. I mean, the top of the ring. This is random. I don't know. I just, it was a nice round number and it seemed like a good length. Hey, it might be a good length. It might be a weird length. Um, we'll see in a minute, I guess. Ta-da! Cool. All right, you're still not getting the real colors, but I think that that looks really cool. I think I'm gonna hang it up and see what everything looks like inside. Okay, this is cool, but because the little cup is not round, I don't know if I would trust it to hold. Kind of skinny, sort of oval shaped. It's cool, but see if I can find some uh, something else to put in there. All right, so I probably shouldn't do that because it looks silly a little, but you can see that with the round bottom, I mean, it's glass, so you can't really see it that well, but it's holding a thing in it. So you can see that it does work with something round. So that is ideal. Unfortunately, you know, that's not exactly what I was planning to use in there, but what if... All right, so I'll admit it's a little bit annoying getting all the greenery to stay in the same place, the place that you want it to make it not quite so fake looking, but I mean, it's kind of cool. Let's see what we can do with the other one. Let's see if they go together. So I guess I'm gonna need to find something else to put in here, but in the meantime, I will keep it around so that I can fit the next macrame as I go. Um, the next one should be fine though, cause I'm putting a net on the bottom. See, it's sort of an oval shape for my Kia. It's for the bathroom, <laughs> I don't know, but it was just the right color. So I bought it anyway. The next one that I'm going to make is more of a traditional looking kind of a plant holder. So I'm going to get started. I have six strands that are 11 feet each. I'm gonna double them up so there'll be three sections. I was thinking of doing four sections, but this thing is so small, I don't think it needs that much. So I, I decided to go with three sections instead, but next time, I guess I'll do that. Maybe for something bigger. I saw so many, guys, I saw so many ideas today. I'm gonna to be making macrame until forever. Every surface will be covered. <laughs> and then every ceiling will be hanging things. But that's okay, right? Nobody minds, do they? Maybe, maybe someday they'll mind. Um, but for now, okay. So for this uh, second plant holder, I have six pieces of cord. They are 11 feet long-ish. So just like the other one, I'm gonna slip them over the little ring, center them, as much as I can. I'm sure they won't end up entirely centered, but that's okay, we can trim it at the end. So I'll center them in the middle, then I'll do a wrap knot ah, to fasten everything in place, because clearly I need that. I always feel like I'm having kind of a hard time getting everything lined up and nice and tight. Maybe I'm overestimating how tight everything needs to be, but also I think it's because this particular cord is just so thick and stiff. So here is the first wrap knot. 
Okay, so my plan, let me tell you what my plan is. I don't like this part at the top, you see? Yeah, like I don't know why some of them always stick up more and then some of them don't. I also didn't want them to be really wide. It's fine. It's gonna be basically on the ceiling and nobody will see it and it's fine. And maybe I can pull it tighter. Okay, so that's what you can do. You can tighten it afterwards. That looks better. Mm, I'm a genius. Okay, so my plan is to leave a little space at the top, then do a spiral for a little while, leave another little space, and then do square knots towards the bottom. But instead of doing just square knot, square knot, square knot, square knot, uh, I'll do the square knot and then leave a little gap, and then another square knot and leave a little gap, and see what that looks like. It seems cool. We'll see. Um, now I would also like, and this is probably where I'll use this for measuring, I would like the square knot thing to go down a little bit. I'll take the square knots a little bit past it and then start making the net. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to do that. We'll see, I guess. I will do my best. Um, and we'll start with our spirals, see how long they should go. I don't know. I'm gonna try to make this one longer than the other one, just so they're not, you know, exactly the same height. I think that this will go nicely longer. Um, we'll see. We'll see, but I'm gonna start with my knots and I'll come back if there's anything interesting. I'll probably also bind some of these guys up so they're not everywhere. All right, so I think that I have my little patch of spiral knots done. I'm gonna skip, I guess I'll make it sort of even. I'll skip another three inches and I will start my square knots. I'll plan to do a square knot and then skip an inch and then a square knot and then skip an inch and then see how that looks. I got my square knots done. That's exciting. So in here, you may have noticed I switched the outer strings for the inner strings because I sometimes get paranoid about not having enough cord at the end, um, always. So I figured, you know, if they get kind of short, make them be the middle string that don't need to tie knots anymore. So uh, we'll see how that worked out. I mean, that might look kind of weird, but I don't know if I mind. It might be a decorative element. I don't know. Okay, so I think this seems long enough, I guess. So I'm going to start trying to figure out how to make my net. I think I can do it like these four together and then these four together and then the back four together. I just have to measure a little bit. I have to see two inches. I don't know, it's totally random. I think I'll make the little space between them two inches and see how that goes. And then after that, I just have to join it together with another wrap knot and we can see how everything fits. Will two inches be enough? Two and a half inches. Yeah, so I'll do two and a half inches in between my last square knots and then the little first netting knot. Netting knot. Netting knot. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've just remembered how short this is. So just one set of the, the knots to make it a net and then uh, two inches down, I guess, I will do another wrap knot and then that will be it for this guy. Two inches is there. Time to wrap. Ta-da! So I've cut the fringe at sort of the shortest pieces, so they're kind of even. Now, I just have to tuck this guy in for the moment of truth. Will it hold this weird shaped thing? I hope so. A lot. I really hope so. Ha ha! Ta-da! So what I'll probably do is hang it so it looks, it'll look different on either side. I'll hang it whichever way kind of works. There! So, we discovered that if you have a weird shaped pot or cup or whatever you want to put your plants in, 
make them a net. That will make them so much happier. And we want our little cups to be happy because we don't want to find them on the ground in a million pieces in the morning when we wake up. That would be a downer. So, I mean, this is not ultra different from the last one that I made, but you know, I tried some new patterns and I think it's kind of cool. So let's see what they look like hung up next to each other. So here they are hanging together. Remember when I said I was gonna make the second one longer than the first one? I lied. So I will probably change out the, uh, the cup in the first one, although it might not be anytime soon because this kind of works for now. I don't know, I think they look cool. So I'll probably take some photos somewhere else in the house so that you can see what they look like individually. So, success! Well, I am happy at how those both turned out. That is good because I genuinely enjoy doing macrame and I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to try to accomplish every single cool thing that I see on Google. It might take me my whole entire life, but that's fine. I feel like I have some time ahead of me in my life. I don't know. So. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, check to make sure you're subscribed, and that your notification bell is on, because if it's not on, you might miss a video, and that would be just tragic. Super sad. Yeah. My videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Keep an eye open, uh, keep your notifications on. And if you are interested in how I did the knots, I will do them right after this, and I will show you step by step how to make them. It's only three knots. There's a wrap knot, the square knot, and the half knot or the spiral knot, which is just half of a square knot over and over. Pretty straightforward, but I will tack them on in case you want to get these, these guys started. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time, I'm sure, for something else. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be awesome. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate for you, if you are still here, how I made the three different kinds of knots that I used for this video. So I'm just going to loop my two, two cords over my tape because why not? Okay, so normally I We'll attach my ring to this little suction cup hook thing. Of course, suction is not its strongest suit. Now here is the wrap knot. So you fold over a little bit, you know, bigger than how much you want to wrap around with the, uh, the loopy end facing down and the, the loose guy up. You gather everything in one hand. Put this part up here. Start wrapping around. It doesn't, I don't think really matter which direction you go. Wrap them around nice and tightly. And now you have just a little short piece here. It goes through the loop. Hang on to it at the bottom, pull up till it tucks underneath, if it can, usually it can. Then take your scissors, snip the ends. Now next, I'll show you the half knot, the spiral knot, and then I'll show you the square knot. So the half knot is really just the first step of the square knot. So you'll take your right hand cord Go under the middle two and over the one on the left. And then the left hand cord goes over the middle two and under the one on the right. Pull it up. All right. So that's one spiral knot. So you would keep on going with this one, under, over, over, under, over and over and over and over until it starts to spiral. It's even starting to spiral now. And finally, your square knot 
is going to be the first part is the half knot so under over over under tighten it up so see how that's the same that we were just making now instead of doing it again and again like the half knot you start over here with your left hand cord you go under over over under there and if you look closely you see that it makes kind of an arrow pointing to the left and that is how i remember that i've done a full square knot so it's just under over over under from right to left and then under over over under from left to right and there you have it that is that's it that's the only three knots that i used in both of my pieces today that's it get going <laughs>